It is positively Jack's. An emotional 24 hours as dogs born to fight and trained to kill start a new life right here in Jacksonville. These 10 dogs arrived in Canada yesterday and had their first photo shoot with the rescue organization Pit Sisters. As Nikki Kimmelson explains, it's been a long battle to get them here, but one that was worth it. I was like a mom seeing her kids for the first time. Jen Dean's been waiting nearly two years for this moment. Her rescue organization, Pit Sisters, working closely with the Ontario SPCA to save the lives of dogs that were seized during a dog fighting investigation. Normally, dog fighting dogs up there are euthanized. They're not given a second chance. But after a long legal battle, 10 dogs, four suspected fighters, and six born in custody now get that second chance thanks to all who fought on their behalf. We have been so excited to work with Jen Dean, Pitt Sisters, and Jim Crosby on making this a reality. Now that they're here, the first step is to show these dogs there is nothing but good things to come. We're going to spend some time getting to know them, letting them relax, um, finding out about their personalities, and then our plans are to put them into our Tails prison training program down the road. And that Tails program, where local inmates train the dogs and get them ready for adoption, has proven to be a positive not just for the canines, but for the inmates too. They see themselves in the dogs. They're both getting a second chance. It's something these dogs would have never had had they not been seized. All of the dogs from this investigation were bred to fight and trained to kill, with the exception of the puppies. But everyone who had a role in getting these dogs to Jacksonville saw their loving reaction when they arrived, and they're confident they will one day be a wonderful addition to an adoptive family. It shows that often the spirit of a dog is more resilient than their breeding, and we certainly hope that their characteristics are going to shine through. I'm so happy that they're here and they're getting that chance, and then we get to be a part of it. Jen Dean says locations of pet supermarket and affiliated veterinary specialists are holding supply drives so these dogs get what they need to get acclimated and ready for training. Now, for more information on how you can help, plus the organization that funded the entire fight to save these dogs, we ask you to go to newsforjacks.com. Just look for the story. You'll find it right there under the homepage.